If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister Ralph here again. I am going to be recording, this is, I uh, just untap Open League Modern, this is round 3. Uh, it is Viper Fang 4 versus Captain Gouda 24. Alright, so you will recognize Captain Gouda's list because it's like Captain and I have played before. This was my uh, first round opponent, the one where I punted about as hard as, as I can. <laughs> uh, so yeah, take a nice long look at this. We're gonna, I'm gonna quickly pull up all of these, and you can pause if you. About that's not on right now. You can pause if you'd like <laughs> to uh, <laughs> take a look, see what they're working with. The one Keswick Malcontents is pretty cool. Uh, vials, the pretty standard land base at this point, I believe. And then sideboard, you have Oriok Champions, Damping Sphere, Deputy, Dismember, Sin Collector, and Whirler Rogue. A little bit trickier over here is that we have some good old Whir shenanigans going on for, uh, for Viper. And this is a really tough deck to play, I readily admit. I have a lot of respect for people that can play something like this. So, uh, because it has a lot of one-ups, and uh, the deck is not linear, like, at all. I don't know why Bottle... there it goes. Bottle Cloister did not want to show up for some reason. I'm, uh, trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry, folks. I'll be, I'll be there in just a moment. You can wait up. Hold your horses. Alright. Oh, yeah, you know what. Island. Uh, also, Island and Snow-Covered Island. <laughs> I imagine that there's a reason. Alright. Or maybe not. It's just something you can do to, to flex, I guess. Jester's Cap. Yes, Jester's Cap. Carnage Tyrant. So this is silly. Ready! Round one. Fight. <laughs> Alright, so with that, moving into the turn one Glimmer Void, which very clearly signals to the opponent, if I have Glimmer Void and I don't have another artifact yet, I am going to be playing something. Yeah, Mox Opal. No, no kidding there. Uh, so what would you call? What is the deck? It's War Prison, right? That's the name, or War Bridge, or some Ensnaring War, or something like that. You get the idea. We're worrying for shenanigans, and the deck wins in a number of ways. Um, it doesn't. You'll notice as we go through the list, it doesn't feature the uh, the top pieces. It's it's not dealing with the top of the deck. It's not uh, playing Lantern. It's not playing Codex Shredder. Get out of here, bud. Sorry about that. It's not, uh, it's not featuring Pixis, uh, anything like that. So instead, it wins through, um, well, you've got the Ipnu Rivulet Mill... Well, okay, let's, let's watch first. Let's not miss too much of this. All right. Uh, yeah, but it, it wins through Ipnu Rivulet... <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, so we have uh, Inventor's Fair coming out. We can play EE -E on zero, apparently. Bobble, now uh, Mox is online. Three mana, Ensnaring Bridge. Yay! <laughs> uh, the EE -E just to get the, uh, the Ensnaring Bridge out now. And EE -E for zero lets you play it, get the Ensnaring Bridge down to as few cards as possible. This is not a very easy deck to deal with game one for a deck like humans. Uh, I'm actually not familiar with ways that it can deal with it in the main board, given that I don't remember it running any copies of Deputy in the main. Uh, it has <laughs> it has Keswick Malcontent, so you can burn the opponent if you have enough humans out. I guess that there's that. Uh, you do have Noble Hierarch, which actually, it being zero power, actually matters here, uh, but it forces you not to play things like uh, Thalia's Lieutenant. There we go. And other than that, that's it. Game one, that's it. Now that said, it still makes sense to make the opponent play it out. So Captain said, wait, we've got stuff to do. Maybe. Wait, 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 blah, 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 some stuff happening. Okay, had to pay the, okay, I see. Had to pay the one for uh, Welding Jar. All right. Uh, it is, yeah, it is very tricky for humans to win from this point. It's not impossible, but it's basically. Now, while this is happening, again, it be rivulet is a win condition, uh, and that's 
in and of itself, now you see that there's a crucible world, so that's how they loop the new rivulet. Uh, beyond that, let's see. Pyrite spell bomb loops. Um, let's see. Right, so pyrite spell bomb, Ipnu rivulet, and oh, you loop it by the way with academy ruins. And that's that's it as far as I can see in the main board. Granted, there's a lot going on here. There is a lot that's going on here. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Okay, cool. Probably didn't miss too much, don't worry. I don't think the board advanced that much. Now we see the Telerian Academy, or Teleria West here. And Telerian Academy, oh jeez. <laughs> and this is going to go get uh, probably Rivulet, but not necessarily. Um, if you're going for the Crucible win, Crucible Rivulet, you're good. Um, that makes entirely too much sense. Importantly, how many is that in here? It's a four of. There's probably a reason for that. Probably a reason. Now, if you happen to be playing against a deck that doesn't win, or th that you can't win off with Mill because of, say, Imrakul, then you can go on the Spellbomb plan. Uh, well, then you have to go on the Spellbomb plan. You can also mill your opponent simply by playing Academy Ruins and just keeping artifacts on top of your deck so that you never draw out, but the opponent does. So you don't have to actively mill, you can passively mill them. Once you've gotten the opponent to the state where they cannot win, it doesn't matter. And by the way, oh, there's another EE. Okay, so EE maybe goes on one, I would think, because if Noble Hierarch isn't out, well, you know, gets rid of Noble Hierarch. That is basically the out. This deck is so silly and I love it. Yeah, this is this is not an easy deck to play though, so you know, you uh <laughs> whew, gotta keep your coffee intake high for me. Now, since this game is basically over, I'm going to go and check out what their sideboards are. So for human, oh well I'll wait till this turn passes at least. Alright, so cycling it, getting a mantis rider. Oh, we haven't gotten there yet. All right, passing it on over. So while that's happening, uh, sideboard, we're obviously going to see Deputy of Detention. That's kind of a given. Um, and Sin Collector probably, I would think, comes in, but the, I, I don't know. There's Humans is not favored here. On the other hand, uh, well, we actually don't see too much going on. So Grafdigger's Cage, no, I don't think that there's any way that you get creatures out of your library in humans. Spyglass, maybe, to deal with Aether Vial. Uh, Spell Skite, no? I wouldn't think so. I guess you could use it. You know Detep Deputy's coming. Deputy. Jester's Cap, to deal with something before they have a chance to get it. Uh, Tezzeret is an alternate win condition. So there are things that can be done, to be sure. I think that this deck could run a one of Tezzeret in the main, but you'd have to cut something like, like a Welding Jar, not something you'd like to get rid of. A lot of these cards are in here for a reason. Even though Welding Jar is not great, certainly in the main board, there's plenty of matchups where it just does nothing. Oh, Bottle Cloister, ooh. Nonetheless, it's in there for a reason. However, it's the least impactful, and while it turns on Mox Opal, Mope, Opal, yeah, Opal, my coffee. Alright, so Captain's cool with it. Bottle Cloister is fun. It's basically just going to read, draw an extra card. The downside of that is supposed to be, and I'll, I'll show everyone, in case they don't know, in case you don't know, the downside is supposed to be that if it gets destroyed, you just lost your hand. Well, when you're already at zero cards in hand anyway, that's not too big a deal. <laughs> So another Mantis Rider, we're just just building the board, you know, as you do, going for that, that uh, well, by the time that Keswick Malcontents gets up there, it'll be a little more than 24. Now, E on 2 is interesting. Um, again, I think Noble is the, the out, so I'm not sure why it's on 2. 
but then again, I don't pilot the deck, so maybe there's something for which they're looking out that I just simply don't know. It just very well could be. Um, hmm. Hmm. Itchy nose. Yeah. Okay. Well, gonna get an extra card off of this, you know, off this upkeep trigger. Maybe. Let's see. Got some bobble shenanigans. Alright. Okie dokie. Yeah, bobbles, uh... Fun. Okay. So, um... I missed it. What happened with Bobble? Move from play to discard. This puts it on top of your library. So how do we draw an extra card? What did I what did I miss here? Oh, I paid so much attention. Let's see. Play to discard. Let's go back over here and, and see what I what I missed. There's Bobble again. Tap Mr. Bobble and request blah 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 blah. Yo one card in that. Move from play to discard. Okay. Well. Bobble. Bobble. It's not quite the same as Bobby. Well, even if they're happy oh, there's the there's the noble. There's the noble. Not that it matters anymore because in Vendor's Fair, if it weren't to get Crucible, it could still go and get EE. Uh, yeah, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, tapping in Vendor's Fair, presumably sacking in uh, There we go. Let's see what we're going to go and get. Hmm, I wonder. No, actually, I, I, I do wonder. Just because I chose that line doesn't mean that's necessarily... Yeah, it's Crucible. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was either that or EE, and I think Crucible's the, the better one to do here. Now, interestingly, Crucible just puts it into play, which, you know, I know that's what you want, uh, and we're going to go and get Inventor's Fair so that we can do it again, but unfortunately, it means that you aren't able to get Teleria West into your hand to transmute for Ipnu Rivulet. Ah, such a, such a big deal. Ah. What will we ever do? And also, we're at the point now where even if this were a counterspell deck, you could just put it back on top with Academy. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Draw a three. Okay, okay. So there's a draw three going on here that I'm I'm not under I'm not seeing. Begin of your upkeep. Return all cards removed from the game with it to your hand, then draw a card. Draw a card. The, the both players seem to be accepting this. How am I... How am I missing this? Viper, am I... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be an idiot here. How are you drawing three? Per turn? Let's uh, say natural draw. Cloyce a bobble. Ah, thank you. I missed the bobble, apparently. Bobble, cloister, real draw. Okay, okay, so we're good. I just missed bobble somehow. How? Oh, whatever, it's fine. Hmm. Okay. So, gee, I wonder what we're getting here. Yep, there's Crucible. Crucible's going to do its thing for a bit. It's going to play the Inventor's Fair back, and uh, and then we're going to have some more fun. Fun. Fun times with Were Prison. Yeah, you're you're a Lightning Angel with one less toughness. Boltable Lightning Angel. I remember thinking that this card couldn't be good enough. It just wouldn't make the cut uh, because it died to Bolt, which for the longest time was true. Um, you know, Lightning Angel, you pay one more, but at least you get four toughness, and that's that's the magic number in Modern. 
If you have a 3-drop with 3 toughness, it's usually not playable. Uh, but, but, <laughs> in a deck like Humans, which... Oh, there's Medley Mage. Okay, okay. It's a little light, <laughs> a little bit light. Uh, but now, Engineered Explosives. Okay, so that makes sense. You name EE so they can't play EE on 1 to get rid of the Noble Hierarch. Not that it matters in the slightest. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess it's a thing. I guess. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, we're past the point where you name Pyrite Spellbomb. <laughs> Alright, swinging for all of 1. Going on the top deck into Noble plan. See if we get there, folks. <sighs> All of one. Yeah, good old Exalted Trigger. Allows me to attack. Yeah, it does. 25. Yeah, right now, the Avengers Fair and the Noble Hierarch... Okay, we're being cheeky. <laughs> Captain's being cheeky. Okay, whale. I clicked it. Yeah, I, I've done that to Viper, where you, you think you click it and it just doesn't register for whatever reason. Oh boy. That's yeah, fine, yeah, it happens. We're all we're all cool here. No worries. No shvet. Alright, yep. Five. Moved three cards, da 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 da. Alright. And then the bottle cloister draw and then a natural draw. It does mean because you have the bottle cloister out, you actually can't do any uh, end of your turn were shenanigans. You have to play were on your turn. It's not necessarily ideal, but it's just too good of a card advantage engine for this deck not to run it. And, while it does open you up to artifact destruction, causing your whole hand to be lost, it does have the benefit of not letting you be thought seized. It would have to be some sort of instant speed discard to work. And there's not a whole lot of that running around in modern. Outside of like, eight, eight racks funeral charm or something like that. Alright, so that's a tech edge in play. Oh yeah, so uh, tech edge. Yeah, Tech Edge Crucible of Worlds. Fun. Super happy fun times. Although, Tech Edge is the kind of card that by the time they have enough lands, it often doesn't matter. There are matchups where it does, like, well, Valakit decks. Uh, but usually, no. Usually, four mana is as much as they'll need. And they can have three and hold the fourth until they're ready, so. They can stick like a Jace, for instance. Does also keep them off to fairy, though. All right, so we have Phantasmal Image as a, presumably a copy of Noble Hierarch. I would think. Mage naming Pyrite Spellbomb. Okay. What's this one? Oh, this is Mage naming War of Invention. Okay, so we're, uh, we're on the, they're going to mill themselves out plan, I guess? I mean, it, it's a thing. It's, it's indeed a thing, at this point. Uh, were, however, can go and get, while it can get engineered explosives, it would have to come in on zero. Uh, even if somehow this deck happened to have a proliferate engine, there's no way to get counters on it in the first place. So now, let's see what we're getting. Yeah, now that I think about it, we're probably right to do that. We're, oh, yeah, oh my goodness. You may, you may have noticed something that I missed. Um, yeah, that's Ensnaring Bridge. You have to actually play stuff <laughs> in order to... Uh, okay, so it has a land been played. Was that Tech Edge this turn? Cloister, okay. Yeah, and we paid how much mana? We only paid three mana. Oh, but Thalia's gone. I, I missed that Thalia was gone. That board is so congested. Oh, fun. Well, in that case, you actually could have played the other Ensnaring Bridge, too. Now, it really doesn't matter for this, because when it comes back to their turn, again, you have no hand. That's another benefit to Bottled Cloister. So, you don't have to worry about how many cards are in your hand. Um, 
actually, since we have we, we have access to the deck list, it's it's actually fine because there's no way to deal with the bottled cloister main board. Uh, so never mind, we're good. There's there's no reason to have to play your stuff out. Never mind, we're fine. And even if it even if that were the case, they'd have to have something that they could do at instant speed so they would keep the cards in their hand. Oddly enough, this would be a situation where you wouldn't want to bottle cloister to kill the bottle cloister on your turn because, after all, you want them to have cards in their hand with them snaring bridge out. All right, so that just popped back into existence, and then two cards drawn, easy enough. Um, and then a third off of bobble again. I keep missing that. I keep missing the bobble. Please reveal, says Captain. Oh yeah, yeah, good old kite sail. Huh. So there could have been flash in were, but nope, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> I guess we don't need to at this point. We, we kind of don't. If the pirate spell bomb were in the library, you could were for pyrite in response. Um, and then you could activate it to kill the one that's naming pyrite, and then you could get it back and just go at them that way. That's, that's fun. That's a way to do it, I guess. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, lo I'm looking for Ipnu, and you're dead if I find Starring's Teleria West, or it, to be honest. I know. Yeah, I mean, we, we can see the writing on the wall. Yeah, we sure can. I mean, you win 0% of the games where you concede, though, so it makes sense to play it out. Alright, so Chalice down. Suppose they're all on the bottom of your deck. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a thing that can happen. There's a chance. Yeah. Um. All right. So while we're waiting, <laughs> there's still a chance. There sure is. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, you're at a spot where you can't name, you can't do Medley Mage naming Ibnu Rivulet. That's sadly not a thing. Uh, with one Teleria West down, that means you have Ibnu Rivulet, three Teleria West, and some number, although I don't remember the number, of, okay, so two more Ancient Starrings in those 31 cards. It would be exceedingly unlikely that they're all on the bottom, but it's, it's not impossible. Randomness does sometimes do that to you. Alright, let's see. There it goes. There goes nothing. Oh. Alright. Shenanigans, maybe? Oh yeah, we're just swinging one, and there's Thalia. Just to make things ever so slightly harder, even though they actually don't make things harder. Thalia doesn't. But still, I guess... Why not? Alright. Well? Yeah, this hand would be... <sighs> this hand is fun. So what do you name here, uh, if you play the Sorcerer Spyglass, just to have something to play? Because I think that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Sorcerer Spyglass, put a Botanical Sanctum in just... Oh, nope, never mind. We have maybe another bridge. Maybe? Question mark? Naming with a Spyglass. Yep, okay, so we did a Spyglass. We got there. Makes sense. Yep, we have a... Vial. <laughs> that's not the name of the car! Okay. We all know what that means. We uh, There's only one Vial here. Alright, so, yeah, one mana mox, because we just replaced the mox, basically. Okay. And, uh, are we going to... No, not Tech Edge. Yeah, all of the ensnaring bridge. Yep, um, I guess...
You know, it was one thing when I thought that this would be a good match to record. Um, it's another thing when I went through with it. <laughs> this is not a good match to record. Swinging one. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> we're not actually getting anywhere, folks. Do we even have to play that out? Oh, don't don't play the. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. Okay, we got him back. Uh huh. Cool. There's a transmute going on, or about to go on. Alright, transmute for Rivulet, which will leave 26 cards in the deck. Now you're dead. Well, make him play it out, right? Says the guy who's actually spectating this. Maybe. Alright. So we're gonna add that to hand. We're gonna play it. Do it new rivulet. As you do. As you do. Yeah, we, we know there's no there's no tech to get him out. There's no uh, say like an emerald somehow. I'm gonna double check my list, see if there's any point. <laughs> there is point. I mean no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I was going to say the thing I said earlier, which is, I mean, you win 0% of the games you concede. Uh, so, Captain Gouda maybe sees something I don't see. Looking through here, we have Noble Hierarch, again, so that's that's a that's a deal. If we find enough nobles, we can try to win on the Exalted plan. Uh, same thing with Phantasmal Image, as you do. Uh, other than that... And by the way, that is not a that is not a may. That is a must. So Thales Lieutenant is right out. Uh, Kessig Malcontents. Um, yeah. If you find nobles in Kessig, maybe you can do something here. Maybe, maybe you can do something. I don't know that to be true though. But not at 24 life. All right, swing two. Oh, we found a noble. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Activate Rivulet, no four. Gonna have to play it right again. Play it again. Yeah, so by the way, the price check right now, if Kessig Malcontent were to enter now, assuming that it, uh, so it counts itself, equal to the number of humans you control, there is still not a Witchbane Orb yet. Oh wait, is it? Target player, yep. There's still not a Witchbane Orb. That would, that would do it. Uh, you could also whir, but you can't whir on your opponent's turn because Bottle Cloister is a thing. Okay, well, let's see. That, that would be something you could do. You could, you could whir for uh, Witchbane Orb just to cut off that plan too. Uh, but why, I guess? <laughs> why do something like that? There's, a, there's the main board Tormod's Crypt. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're gonna cycle that. Why not? <laughs> well, I don't know why we used that one, but we did. Play the Reflector Mage. Swing two. And Reflector Mage. Targeting absolutely nothing. Turn target creature and opponent control. So, you know, as you do. All right, one, two, three, four. <sighs> this is game one, this is game one. Let's see how much time I have left on my card. Okay, we're good. Good. <sighs> Folks, this is, uh, this is fun magic. With T1 Glistener Elf. This is game one. Why did I decide to do this to myself right now? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. So let's see. We just played something who gives a crap what it was. And we, you know. Oh, no, never mind. So, still doing Viper doing things. Viper doing Viper things. Alright. Pass the turn to Captain Gouda. 
Alright, let's see. That's uh, not something you can play. Do not play that, I swear. If you play that and you just... Okay, good. Good, okay. Okay. Folks, my heart. Let's see. I'm gonna mill for four more. Okay, so again, again, price check would be on Kessig Malcontents would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus, if Kessig Malcontents came down, then you could do Lieutenant and then Malcontent. So it'd be 14. So we're, we're definitely not there yet. Sorry, I thought I passed it. It happens. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're good. I'm getting tired just watching this. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Alright, so there's Torpor Orb, which would cut off Kessig Malcontents as well. So I think you have to play that, don't you? Right? Oh, oh wait, we haven't put the... No Kessigs have been milled. Well, there's Torpor Orb. So, uh, now, <laughs> Viper's saying, now you're dead. GG, okay, okay. Yeah, where were, oh, there you were. There you were. Hey, buddy, I knew you'd be there. Okay, so... Again, going over to prison, let's see, going over to prison, we have Summoner's Pact, which can go and get Thrun and Carnage Tyrant. Uh, no, that's not, that's not going to be a thing, but, you know, I guess, if you're playing against control, that's it, I guess, okay. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass, maybe. Spell Skite seems like a real good one, especially since you know that uh, Deputy's coming in. You can diversify what you're doing with Sidemaster Thopters, but I don't think a bunch of 1-1s one are going to do too much against a field full of humans. And Jester's Cap, if you can get it down, can deal with the answers that you know are coming in. It's expensive, but otherwise it's a great sideboard card, as an, well, as an anti-sideboard card. Uh, and then Tezzeret, which I don't think Tezzeret can really do enough here, I don't believe. Uh, but I guess, you know... Viper plays the deck and I don't. So otherwise, again, three Deputy of Detention easily coming in. Almost certainly Sin Collector as well. Though it's only Instant or Sorcery that gets revealed. At least it's something, and it's better than what you would be citing out. And what would you be citing out? Well, Reflector Mage does absolutely nothing in the matchup. Even with Carnage, Chiron, and Thrun, those are Hexproof. Both of those are Hexproof. So, uh... Okay, okay, okay. It can deal with spell sky, and that's about it. You can return a spell sky first. Uh, all right, we have a keep. A keep on six. Please reveal to me. Okie dokie. Meanwhile, we presumably still have some sideboarding going on for Vipe. Vipe. All right. Uh, some of the other options here. Whirler Rogue for some more bodies, but not really. You don't care about the can't be blocked bit. Oriok Champion, no. Uh, Damping Sphere, no. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's basically it. You see why this matchup looks a little lopsided. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you, turn two deputy. Not that we're doing that, but, you know, with nobles to deal with Ensnaring Bridge, um,. That's, that's okay. You know, I mean, you have a sideboard card, you keep it. And you have Phantasmal Image. Okay. Okay, meanwhile, we see Spell Sky did come in. Okay. I wonder what that's for. We have Land Land Bobble Cage. Cage? Cage. I may be misremembering. What does humans have that can come out of the library? They can be cast from the library. Am I misremembering something here? Alright, so E on one. Yeah, as you do. Uh, which means if you want to get rid of that, you would have to 
throw down the deputy now. Uh, which is actually fine because of the phantasmal image. So that's exactly what's going on. We're stealing that. And if it's stolen, when it comes back, it will come back with zero. <laughs> so, uh, what can you do? So this Graph Digger's cage, I'm gonna look again, but this seems like a really weird... It seems like a really weird one. Am I crazy here? What am I missing? I don't think anything... Um... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. So, is there a Graph Digger's cage in the main board? No, it's just the one in the sideboard. Okay, sometimes these decks can have a one of Graph Digger's cage in the main board because they can tutor for it. But no, this one was actually brought in. I do not understand. We have open deck list, so it's not like you're expecting... Like, there's no collected company here. It's not Coco Humans. Uh, well, um, this counts as a flood for this deck, and the Psymaster Thopters did indeed come in. I guess the one ones can clog up the ground for a little while, and that's, that's fair enough. Alright, so we have good old Psy, Snoop over there, doing his thing, Snoop Dogg. Tell, look at this art, and, uh, and tell me that's not Snoop Dogg. That's absolutely Snoop Dogg. Full shizzle. Alright, so, Dahlia swinging in for four. Four with first strike. That's a that's a thing. I, I have a sneaking suspicion this game might go just a little bit differently. Just maybe. All right. Don't. No. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, it's still winnable. There's double noble out, but. Uh, I, I absolutely would not have done that. I cannot tell you how much I would not have done that. It's a four-man ensnaring bridge, so that should slow things down a little bit. Uh, now remember, Exalted will happen after attacks have been declared, so this Thalia is still going to be swinging in for four because it starts out at two. Uh, and then there will be a draw, and then presumably... Uh, bobble and cage get played. Okay, now that said, that did just make a uh, that did just make a one one. So actually, we are clogging things up a, a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, that uh, that was not the play. That was not the play. Um, this meddling mage. All right, so we're we're presumably going to block. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're going to block for days. Meddling Mage naming... What's well, an out? Uh, Engineered Explosives is maybe an out? Like, if you didn't... I obviously I could see the hand, but if you didn't know... What would you... What would you think would be named? Okay, well... Let's see... So E's, I mean, Insane Bridge is already out. You can name Crucible to keep them from that win condition. You can name Pyrite Spellbomb. And we ins we named Word of Invention, which, that's fair enough. That's certainly fair enough. Actually, that makes a lot more sense than Pyrite, uh, I suppose. You have a few more words than you have spell bombs, even though Pyrite does actually win the game. Alright, what do we have? Yeah, this is this is going downhill quickly. This is going downhill very quickly. All right, and there's our there's our Thopter. Just the one for now, but of course, there's the uh, two mana Craft Digger's Cage that does absolutely nothing. Well, that might be brought in against humans normally. If you're up against humans where you have the deck list and can see they don't have Coco, I I can't. I can't agree with that. Uh, and this is a downside to Exalted. 
while it does give an out, as long as there are any artifacts being played, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna have to deal with this, with these shenanigans. Alright. Ooh, meddling mage again. I mean... Alright, so we're attacking first. Two cards, so, you know, happens. Meddling mage. I think you would name Bottle Cloister, wouldn't you? It's only a one of, so I can understand not. But if your opponent gets to a state where... Oh, engineer explosives. I mean, that that's fair, too. I, I had thought... No, no, no. We, we only took one. We didn't, actually. Okay, so engineer explosives makes sense, too. With Bottle Cloister, though, Bottle Cloister forces you into a state where you can only attack with Noble Hierarch. Um, no matter what else you have. You can name every other card in your deck, so they can't cast anything, but Bottle Cloister will get them to a state where you have to attack with Noble. And eventually, they're going to play enough artifacts that they can chump block Noble and actually kill it. Eventually. Right now, there's only two Exalted Triggers, so it only takes three artifacts and suddenly it's done. Hmm. That said, uh, Viper is conceding. Don't, don't concede. You actually, yeah, okay. Okay. I, I would not have conceded there. There was a hope. There was a chance. There was... Maybe? Yeah. Something could have happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, even if that top were horrible, you could use Psy to draw yourself out of it, which is a little awkward with Ensnaring Bridge, but it is something you can do. Especially since the Gravedigger's Cage does nothing. Uh, we'll see if that matters again. Alright, so we're at... Unamas, there we go. Seven cards for Viper. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what they happen to be. Viper might wait until deciding mulligans before showing. Yeah, well, that's exactly what's happening here, apparently. So we'll see if it, the revelation occurs. Meanwhile, seven cards? Maybe? We're getting there? Alright, here we go. We got there. We got there, folks. Alright. You little behind the scenes with T1 Glistener Elf. Nice button up. Pajamas. I like feeling comfy. And I find this comfy, oddly enough. I find this very comfy. Alright, so Teleria West. Um, reveal, please? Alright. Maybe a no, no, not a noble. Alright, so there's a... There's a hand, alright. Dismember. I mean, when spell skite's a thing, you do what you have to do, I guess. <sighs> okay, so there's spell skite. In before dead spell skite. I'm gonna take five here to kill that. Not that the life total matters too much. Minus one. Hey, we got there. We got there. <laughs> I don't mean to be that guy. I don't mean to be that guy. Alright, so taking one again. Yeah, let's see what you got. See what you're working with. Alright, so looking at these, we have... Yeah, the Welding Jar is, is cute. Uh, Mox Opal and Tormod's Crypt. Gee, I wonder what we're going to take. We can't take Psy, and we can't take Yalmaya Coast. So we're, we're going to take the Mox Opal, of course, as you do. Heh. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's gone, baby, gone, at least for now. And with Psy out, so the play here is probably, there's a reason the Mox Opal was held. It's going to be land, or other land, but yeah, that land, since that's revealed. Psy, artifact, artifact. So that's the reason why those weren't played immediately. Um, and presumably the hint from Viper was, well, I didn't work as planned. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, it would have been a thing. Would have been cool. Alright, so there is... There is Jar. Just doing what you have to do. We're already in top deck mode, but those uh, those two little 1-1s one versus a 1-2, and if that 1-2 uh, gets to trade, then, well, this only counts on cast, but still, that's a Mox Opal. Alright. 
Let's see what we have here. Mantis Rider. Yeah. Instead of going for dealing with the wild card with either uh, Kite Sail or the Thalia, we're just getting the damage in. As you do. Which I think is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do here. Human. Naming Human. Eh, that's what you do. Alright, Sanctum into Ancient Stirrings. Okay. Alright, see what we have. I guess we won't, but we'll see in just a bit. Alright, and it's. Wow. That must have been a stinky five. That must have been just an absolutely gross five off that Ancient Stirrings, if that's what you get. Not as gross as nothing, but still. And also, I guess that makes sense. Maybe you do that just to have another... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. But I can see now three one ones versus a 3-3. Three three. That's a thing. Sin Collector. Not exactly on time, unfortunately. Not that there was really much of a window for it anyway, though. Uh, which is to say, there was not a window. That Ancient Stirring is the first instant or sorcery. Okay, so uh, what's this one going to be? I'm assuming another Mantis Rider. Because we do have to... Yeah, it's name. It's Mantis. We're uh, just going to have to remember that it's a Mantis Rider, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so swinging for six. Alright, so could would we like to trade? Ah, uh, Viper's thinking. I think that if it were me, the answer is... So, yeah, if you're going to do it that way, you can sack one of them to draw a card. Sack both? Oh, wait, how much mana do you have to do to sack one? Oh, sack two artifacts. Two artifacts, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're getting very close to Sack Welding Jar territory, which is to say we are in Sack Welding Jar territory. Alright, yeah, so now the Kite Sail is safe. Yeah, this, this was a weakness to doing that, and to be fair, Viper didn't know that there was going to be a Kite Sail coming down. So, in, in that context, I think it makes sense to do that. You're digging for something like an Ensnaring Bridge. Um, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Hindsight is twenty twenty and all. These two did just play each other in Vintage too, and that was kind of one-sided. So there's Torpor Orb, which I think you just have to play here, don't you? You get an extra 1-1 one -one out of it, and uh, it cuts off... It doesn't cut off Phantasmal because this isn't an ETB ability. Alright, so we have another. We can do some chumping, and uh, those chump blockers can draw a card. And that's always fun. And of course, if they do, then you're going to see Send Collector do its thing. Try to try to collect its toll. Try to collect its tithe, I guess. It's Send Collector. That is a tithe. All right. Whew, my eyes. <laughs> this. Okay. So what's going on? We have a Noble, okay. Yeah, alright, so we have a we have a land. Alright, so we're gonna swing first, that makes sense. Swing eight. Alright, so uh, things you can do here. You can block six damage and draw a card, which is probably what I'd think you would do. Um, Oh, or we're gonna double block to get back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Oh, we can get back a Mox Opal. Opal one. Um, okay, so that's... That's interesting. Why? Huh. I mean, that does still leave you with one. Hmm. Alright. Tormod's Crypt and a Jar. Okay. 
draw a card, draw a cad. Oh, okay, that's that's not a thing. That's not a thing we want to see. There's were, which is a. Uh, let's see. So were, you tap four plus the convoke or improvise. And, and you tap four because of Thalia. So uh, you tap three, and then the improvise gets an additional one. All right. So one, two, three, four. This ha this is ensnaring bridge. Like no ifs, ands, or buts. This is ensnaring bridge. That is the card you need to not die here. And when you start tapping the artifacts, it's pretty clear what's going on. It's pretty clear. And obviously we're going on zero here. Zero card. I mean X is not zero, but we're gonna have zero cards in hand. Yeah, and when that's the top deck, there's not a whole lot you can do about- Oh, we're calling GG now. Okay. Deputy. Why didn't you play it out? Have a nice day- Oh, why didn't you- You had- You had outs! Bud! You had outs! You win 0% of the games where you concede. Alright, well that happened. That's- a thing. Um, and once again, if you'd like to take a look at the list, here you go, and here you go. I don't mean this. I don't mean to sound hard cap, but you weren't dead. You weren't dead, man. All right. So that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye bye.